we need big time upgrades because I feel like my bait's not not doing what it needs to do. Alright, seven fish with pizza and less. Dance Let me go back in the water. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies. All right, folks, we're back at the river, and we're here for the Crappie Masters National Championship. I would love one of those trophies. We're on the Wachita River, and I'll tell you what, we've had a fantastic pre-fish, probably the best pre-fish that we've ever had. So sit back, relax, get something to drink. Please do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. That helps Three Pound Fishing out. We are about to fish the National Championship for the Crappie Masters on a river that we maybe don't know but i'll tell you what our pre-fish went so good i'm very excited sit back relax this episode's about to get started all right if you've watched my tournament episodes before you know i don't do that much talking during the tournament certainly not before i get my first seven fish in the boat so right now our goal is to get seven fish in the boat that will make us feel a lot better we are starting in hamilton lake because we established this place late in the day yesterday and we picked up some pigs just like the guy we're about to hoist in our first good fish of the day No, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not used to going in a tournament with such a good pre-fish day. So that made me nervous going into it. And I noticed right off the bat that my bait wasn't working quite as good as it was before. Now I was catching fish, don't get me wrong, but I noticed that the reactions weren't exactly the same. Now we did pick up some good ones, but we also picked up some average ones and this would be an average guy. But we're picking up fish and that's important, getting seven in the boat as soon as possible. So every tournament morning is different, right? So this tournament morning, I definitely did have a plan, which was to stay in Hamilton, get seven fish, then move to the other areas, and then perhaps hit Hamilton on the way back as I got back on the boat ramp. That was the plan. That's pretty much what we're gonna stick with today. We definitely get great fish in Hamilton. You'll see this, but we actually moved to the other coves as well and, and try to get something going there. We definitely need a plan B and C in these big tournaments for sure. All right, kind of a rough start, not gonna lie. We're not happy, you can tell it on the face. We need to change that attitude, we need to get positive. And we do that here a little bit. We catch bigger fish, that's important. We've been catching great fish, and that's what I worried about having such a good pre-fish going into the tournament. It really will get you down in the tournament if you're not doing the same exact same thing that you had done during your pre-fish.
maybe some better fish over here. We switched sides. Better fish. Catching fish, that's the that's the important thing, I guess. See if this cancels any of them out. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Hmm. All right. So we've got our seven fish. It is roughly 8.45, but they're they're small. We need we need big time upgrades, which is good. We've got a long time to do it, upgrade them. Uh, key to this, was that this cove was the Hamilton Lake was to get our seven fish. Now we're gonna look around for, obviously start calling these out. So many misses today so far. It's only 8.45, I get it, but so many misses. I have not experienced that since I've been here. So that's me basically telling you that my bait's not working the same. And I identified that very early on. I didn't have any short strikes before. I was catching everything that I put my bait next to its head. And you'll love that feeling. I was not getting it on this particular day and it bothered me. Now we eventually put big fish in, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't the same bite and I knew it. Things aren't going good. I haven't really upgraded. And I feel like my bait's not, not doing what it needs to do. Whoa! I don't condone this, no doubt about it, but I'll tell you what, I'm passionate about what I do, and when I work hard as I can about catching a fish, I'm gonna get frustrated, especially on tournament day. You know what I think it is, though? I think it comes back to that pre-fish day. You do so well on a pre-fish day right before the tournament, you your expectations are up here, and when your bait's not doing what you think it should be doing, no misses the day before, all of a sudden you have misses, it is frustrating. Did everything right there, but actually, st actually set the hook. <laughs> it's a day of misses so far. It's amazing. That was a two pound fish. We wouldn't touch it without the minnow. I put the minnow on it, it turned around. Oh, So a big miss right there, and we are extremely frustrated because this is definitely not the best day we've experienced while we've been on the river. But regardless, we're ready for the weigh-in. Well, let's make it happen. Let's see where we end up. <laughs> well, I guess you didn't be looking for, was it? All right, seven fish with pizza and less stand stripper. All right, how you guys doing today? Lively fish. They'll be going back in the water. 784 on day one. 784. Guys, hold some up for picture for us. Totally different spot tomorrow, I'm guessing. <laughs> did, it, did you have fish there before? They just slipped. Alright, what a frustrating day, but at the same time, a great day. We ended up in 38th place out of 105-ish 
teams. I haven't figured that one out. It's either 105 or 104. But regardless, I'm very proud of the finish considering that we had a really tough first day on the river compared to our pre-fish. In fact, it was probably the worst day that we have had since the river. So that really intrigues me for the next day. I'm thinking we're going to improve. You're going to have to tune in next time because the episode that will have the championship Saturday will be coming up next. But either way, great time on the Crappie Masters. The river is fantastic. I love learning new lakes. Do me a folks, do me a favor, folks. Uh, subscribe to Three Pound Fishing. That helps me a lot. And if you've made it this far, I really do appreciate you, without a doubt.